And these are no ordinary federal dollars. This is nearly 40 million pulled back by Mayor Craig Greenberg after an ethics investigation. WDRB's Conroy Delouche explains how that money could be spent. Conroy. Well, as some Metro Council members investigate the person at the center of the ethics case, Anthony Piagentini, they also need to approve how to spend the 40 million quickly. Piagentini, who vehemently denies the commission's ruling and vows to stay in office, is abstaining from any vote or discussion on the grant. Nice shot. Sometimes after school, Devonte Beasley takes his son to shoot hoops. He just made the basketball team, so I was trying to get him some practice in. Algonquin Park is a short trip. I was calling gyms at first, but you know you got to pay a membership. This is free. Item 13 first. Right now, Metro Council is deciding on an ordinance to spend part of the $40 million grant on long overdue maintenance at parks and on library projects. Greenberg's administration is calling for quick action, cautioning if the money isn't used fast enough, they lose it. But some members pushed back, saying they want more details on how exactly the funds will be spent. We allocated this money once already, and I've now pulled it back for all sorts of reasons. But there perhaps weren't as many questions asked on the first time around as there needed to be. And I don't want to make that mistake again. I don't know if we, want, if we can really afford to wait three to four weeks for all of this to pass. Ultimately, the committee approved the ordinance. The news disappointing for board members at Louisville Central Community Centers. It doesn't seem proper that that we're going to throw that money into the parks. Gracie Wishnia says this money should be for agencies, which is why they applied for the funds last year to begin with as part of that $40 million grant. Their CEO filed the ethics complaint against Piagentini, and they say this ruling shows the need for transparency. We want an ethical evaluation, perhaps not only of this member, but perhaps of the whole team that is reading these grants. A team that is now considering what to do with the $40 million once again. This ordinance now heads to the full council for a vote possibly as soon as next week. With Zebanique Pettis, Conroy Delouche, WDRB News.